Despite some higher prices for meat and dairy products, food inflation is expected to stay relatively low in 2015. That's great news for consumers. It looks like with the moderating energy prices we've had, we've got some reason to think that retail prices uh, on food probably will continue to be stable. In fact, the huge price drop at the gas pump will impact the price of every item on your grocery list. Anything you get in your local grocery store has been grown and harvested and processed and packaged and transported to that store, and so energy costs are a big component of that. Anderson since is one of the exceptions is beef, which will see continued strong prices in 2015, although maybe not last year's record highs. I don't think we'll see tremendous pressure build on these prices for a while just due to the fact that cattle numbers could tighten up some more. However, competing pork and poultry prices may be lowered due to increased production. And while on-farm milk prices are also softening, those prices haven't hit the retail level yet. I'm Michelle Work reporting. This Heartland Consumer Report is sponsored by Minnesota Soybean Farmers and their Soybean Checkoff.